Just having somebody to be there for them, just to listen. That's all they need is someone to listen. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among teens in the United States. It's a fact several Campbell County High School students say they want to see change. 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes joins us with a look at how the school says it's hoping to reach more young people and save more lives. Gabrielle. These young people say suicide is an issue affecting not only their own classmates, but also people in their own community too. However, they hope through sharing their own stories, someone out there won't give up. The CDC says the percentage of high schoolers who reported considering suicide increased by 25% between 2009 and 2017, a figure that hits close to home for students at Campbell County High School. We've had two students and the three students in the past couple years that's taken their life. Kyra Pierce is a counselor at the school. She says each time it happened, every single student felt the loss. It, it really impacted them as a whole. Uh, we had students that would gather out in the commons area and uh, have prayer. It's a dark part of the past a group of her students are bringing to light through skits and testimonials aimed at supporting those who feel alone. Because we've been stressing about this for a while. Garrett, Reese, Caitlin, and Maria all took part in the program and through words and music, they shared a powerful message. This isn't just a joke, it is reality every day. Sharing their stories is hard, but they believe there is light and hope still ahead. Above everything, hope still remains. Um, no matter the circumstance, no matter um, what you've done or what you've been through, there's still hope. Something Miss Pierce wants every student to know. You are not alone. Just having somebody to be there for them, just to listen. That's all they need is someone to listen. And I'm glad I'm that person for them. Gabrielle Hayes, 10 News. Gabby, thank you. If you or anyone you know is struggling with thoughts of suicide, there's someone you can talk to on the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That number is on your screen. It's available 24 hours a day.